stop buying sound card. It will not help you to get quality sound for your live streaming. Yes, this is not necessary if you want good sound for your live streaming. Some church media people, when there's a problem with the sound quality, they tend to blame it. They need a sound card. So they force the church management to purchase this needless sound card for them. Today, I'm going to show you how you can actually improve on your, your sound quality as a church media or for any outdoor event. All right, let's go straight to the point. Now, as you can see, this is a mixer, an audio mixer. Yes, I know most of you have it. So basically, um, what happens is that when you are having a church service or an outdoor program, this is the mixer that they'll be using to mix all the songs, those who are singing, the musicians, everything passes through this console. Ordinarily, if you want to do the live streaming, you have to pick the output of this audio mixer into your system. But what happens is that some prefer to use this sound card as a bridge between the output or the sound they want to pick. They want to route it through this sound card before they pick it up to their OBS system or any of the streaming software. But at times you might not necessarily need this one. I mean, this sound card. It's not necessary. Let me put it aside for now. So if you want to get quality sound, let me teach you the right thing to do. You have to ensure that the mixing, everything is all right over here. Because usually we pick it from the output. For, for instance, on this audio mixer, if I want to pick the output of everything into my system, I would have to pick the output from the record side into, let's say, this sound card before I'm able to have it here. So this is my input here, then I'll put it on the system. But if you want to really get a quality sound, what you have to do is, first of all, you need to test the output of the sound coming from this audio mixer. Test it first. You test it first. Make sure that everything is okay. For instance, if after picking the output into your system, you realize that the, let's say, the bass drum is higher, or let's say the guitarist, you don't hear the bass guitarist very well. You have to draw the attention of the technician to fine tune it very well. So once the output that you are picking into your system is okay, it means that you're gonna have a smooth sound or quality sound. If you have the notion that this sound card is going to actually correct every technical hitches that is going on, it's a lie. It wouldn't help you. This sound card does not correct poor sound quality. If you need good sound quality, make sure that the mix, everything is functioning right here. First, check the output of your feed. Check that it's very clean. If it's not rightly set, make sure you inform the technician they set it right for you. You hear every pitch right, then you stream. So this one other I want to tell you about the sound card and audio. In actual fact, if you want to also get clever sound, you can also, instead of buying this, when you go to any food or event, even if you are having a church service, you can have a mini audio mixer like this. So instead of using this, use this one. You input the output of the sound that you are playing, I mean the audio mixer. You bring the, the, all the sound here, then you mix it yourself, then you output to your system. That's another way of doing it. So once you get everything right here, this sound card will not be all that necessary. So this is about it, about the sound card and then audio mixer. You complain about the fact that you are not having quality feed. This is actually the problem. It might not be entirely true. The problem is coming from not using sound card. But actually, you should have a perfect mix. I mean, fine tune everything on your audio mix where you are picking the original sound from. Make sure that everything is mixed up first, perfectly. You hear everything right before you do the streaming. Once again, you can actually stream directly by picking the output from here directly to your laptop or your vision mixer. Then you stream without using this audio interface or sound card. 